Welcome back. So let us continue where we left off and we want to create a few helper methods that deal with our logging. Okay, so the first helper, mod, helper method um, on logger, again, I'll be using uh, pointers here since I need access to the logging information to be able to directly manipulate it. Okay, so print info and print info will have a message that will be passed to it for it to print and any properties that needs printing as well. Okay, so for example, um, address and so on. All right, so the properties will come in a map and we'll have string and of course of type string. All right, okay, so in turn, the print info uh, method will call a generic print uh, method. Okay, so we'll have l.print and this method is the one that will act that will actually do the printing. So we're gonna pass in the level of info and then we'll pass in the message that it should print and then we'll pass in the properties that it should also print. And that's what it is supposed to do. Likewise, uh, we will need to do the same thing for print error. And so, we'll have a print error method that in addition to printing the message, and any properties will also print the actual error, All right? So print the error, the message, and if there are any properties, you print those properties. And so what we're gonna do when we call print, we're gonna pass in, um, actually, Let's remove this. We don't need the message because the error is the message. So we don't need that. So we'll simply pass in the error message, which we get by using error that error. All right. Again, uh, that takes care of that. And then we need a final method that allows us to deal or print fatal uh, messages. So we're gonna have print fatal. Of course, there will be an error message um, and there will be properties if there are any. And of course, we will have, um, and this is not log info, but log error. Okay, and here, this will be level fatal. Okay, so level fatal, uh, error, and properties. Now, whenever we have a fatal uh, error, then after printing or logging that message, that error message, then of course we'll need to exit. Okay. Okay, so that takes care of that. And so the only thing that is left is to actually implement the print uh, method. Okay, so I will leave the, this video here. And in the next uh, video, we will start, well actually let me start doing it now. Uh, L type logger. Of course, it will be named print. It accepts a level of type level. All right, we know that. Then it accepts a message, okay, of type string. All right, 
and so it can take error because error returns a string right so error returns a string or it could take a message directly because um, a message is a string so after the level after the message it will still need to accept a uh, properties which is a map of type string which also has value of type string and what our print uh, method will do is to return an int and an error uh, as well so this is what we will work on in the next video i'll see you in that one